Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. I headed out for Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to ride and steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. What is up everyone? How is everybody doing today? And it is a beautiful day at that. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new dealer in town. Ladies and gentlemen, I've actually worked with a guy that I knew back in high school and he opened himself up a Case IH dealership slash used vehicle dealership. Um, he's going to be selling more of stuff like Case IH equipment, of course. But he's going to be selling semi-trailers, tra uh, anything really to do with vehicles at all. He's going to be doing it. He's going to sell the occasional John Deere stuff. But hey, it's one of those things. I mean, we really got to sit down and enjoy what we have. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, it's actually really nice to be able to work with someone like this. Yeah, right, we gotta stop right here. And ladies and gentlemen, of course, it's over here in this side of town, on our side of town. So we're not so close to Bucks, Uncle Bucks dealership. And right now we are taking our, our Case IH combine over there to it. And we are going to officially be giving what giving selling it. Uh we will be getting I think he said sixty grand for this. They're gonna be selling it for around the eighty grand mark. Uh well actually we're getting actually a hundred grand for in total with the header because the guy I don't know what he was thinking with that big of a header. It comfort but it he said apparently it comfortably ran it. So and then I think Uncle Grant said that he will be coming later today to come check out the place. So yeah. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen looks like Uncle Buck he said he's gonna be heading this way here in a second. But look at this lineup we have right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually a pretty decent lineup for a dealership that just started. We, of course, have our pickup trucks. We have, I think, one car right now. Not too many. And ladies and gentlemen, don't say nothing. But I think I can talk Uncle Buck into buying this right here. This seems like right up his style right here. But we'll see. Oh, it looks like Uncle Buck just drove up. I guess we'll go say hi to him and see what we can talk him into buying today. Nate, Nate, Begate, what have we got? <laughs> too much. Too much? Too much it looks of everything. Like it. it looks like it. I'm about to say. This is kind of filled up over here. What the heck we got going on? Well, he started off, apparently, he started off uh, over there where we were at near, uh, what was that town we used to live at? Forgot the name of it. Uh, I can't remember. I know <laughs> I know the county name was, was a, uh, Acres. Yeah. That's, so we never really lived in town, so we never really had a, yeah, never really had a place of establishment. Yeah. And I guess well, what do we? Uh, I guess what do we got on the lot? I mean, I don't really in the mood. I don't really have any use for a semi, but I mean, some of the old iron might not be bad. Oh, this over here. Now this might be more up your alley. I know you were saying earlier you don't have the best uh, planter, and so this right here really might be more your style. Well, here's the problem. I actually ended up getting a little 2001 Kinsey eight row. Okay. Sits right behind my 5020. Really, I'm in need of a front wheel assist tractor that's just kind of like the less a small hay tractor. I don't know if we got that, but you don't got that. Depends on how big you want to go. Because if you want something that could go up to a simple mower and rake, it'd be this tractor right here. Let's say the 1586. Yeah. That looks really good. The Thing is, I'm not a red guy. Yeah, yeah. But think about it like this. At least you'll have something different on your farm. True, but I mean, I got Vermeer, Kinsey, and Deer, so I already got three different colors. I don't know if I could do a fourth. Well, actually, hang on. The money talks. How much are we talking? Let me look and pull up my phone real fast. Let me see how much we paid for it. Well, while we're gonna do while you do that, I'm gonna pop in. Oh, yeah, oh, take here. it for a little bit of a test drive. Don't run over me now. Or right, we'll wait for him to come back around here. Now that I got the specs of the tractor, I thought now he should be able to actually know a little bit more about it so the nice thing is that i'm not looking for anything that actually has like the, the float the floater tires on the back actually do i like those because i'm not really looking for anything it's gonna be compaction yep but i guess what do we got for a price tag on this thing that's the main question we're looking about 37 for it Ooh. but but this is the good part about it it has very low hours 
it's around the 1500 hours range the person who used it before pretty much just had it put away in a shed for the longest time and he hey, did maintenance on it regularly and he was also of course a non-smoker everything like that so that's why you didn't smell no smoking in there uh, no, and he kept was, the upholstery in perfect condition. Exactly, and we all know for this old of a tractor, for him to first off not be a smoker is amazing. Oh, and yes. then the PTO shaft, everything like that down here, looks like it was redone a little bit ago to make sure that everything should be able to slide in and off of it quickly. Got a heavy duty, well, it's got that like sledgehammer drawbar, so it latches nice. It's not just a pin. Exactly. So we're, th oh. we're, we're sitting about 37 on it right now. Um, and then I'll give you, and then I'll is have 37 to what you have to sell it for, or is 37 what you guys are comfortable selling it at? That's what we're comfortable selling it at, but since you are my uncle and, uh, you're helping me out with the John Deere dealership, I can help you out and give you a little bit of a discount around the well, 35. I say I'd, I'd be willing to do 35. The thing is, is I don't necessarily know all what I could use it for. Actually, Weren't these tractors roughly somewhere in the mid 120s, 130s for this horsepower? This is a 179 horsepower tractor, actually. You are sold. Yes. Sold to the man in blue. Because I do need something that has a little bit of power. Because the repowered deer that I got, it's only got 175, and that's after it's been boosted. That little Detroit needs a... It, it definitely clucks along, but right now I'm trying to get a little bit of tillage done, and I'm kind of short on power, so... Yes, this right here right, should be the perfect. Well, we're not done yet. We'll go in there. We'll fight the paperwork here in a second. But yeah, this I'll right here. Put out of the bank. I was about to say you might need to go do that. But yeah, this right here would be the perfect one for you. So we'll get that paperwork drawn up. Everything like that inside. But I figured you'd want to take a look at the rest of the stuff real fast. Well, the problem is, I just I don't really need anything else besides like the tillage. Like I'm still looking because are you going to that uh, farmer auction here? Uh, like it's like April fifteenth or something. I can't remember. Grant yep. knows the name. Yep. Yeah. They got I a know. little. They got a little deer on that. I'm trying to get. It's it's not nearly as much power. I didn't necessarily think I'd be getting one of those, but I'm going no, to just... it. But as of right now, I'm I haven't seen a whole lot what they have on there. I'm hoping they have some hay equipment for sale. Um, mm -hmm. with what he had or something like that, I figured he might have some hay equipment. If he doesn't, I'm not really going to buy a whole lot unless they got like a different harvester, which. By the so way, you probably see behind you, I kind of sold my harvester and header to the <laughs> Case IH dealership. Hey, they gave me a hundred grand for it both. Yeah, like I sold that right there to them because a hundred grand for that right there, especially for the low maintenance, the low maintenance he did on it, it was it was worth it every dime. Because I found out later they had to go in and completely redo the sieves on that tractor. So, oh jeez. Yeah. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is. I think Grant wants to meet up sometime for lunch. I probably presume he'll either shoot you a message or I could probably just say if you wanted to meet up with it too, if you can get lunch off. I'll run down oh, to the I'm bank and go get minute. myself a cashier's check because I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to just pull out cash since I don't have that obviously on hand, but I can do it in cash. Now, now Uncle, now Uncle Buck, I got something specifically for you. I know what kind of person you are. I know you like your good dodges now. This right here, I say specifically for you now. You can't make me trade off my red truck. I'm not making you trade off a red truck. It's a good deal. They're only wanting 10 grand for it. 10 grand. 10 grand. It does at least have a plow bracket at the front. Exactly. It has the plow bracket, has everything you would need. Lift your truck. Brand new tires on it. The guy. It's got the running wards. The what? It's got the running wards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you guys have the tailgate, or is that like a thing I'd have to go and buy? We can get you one. I think we can get you one for pretty cheap. I think it'd be only like a five hundred dollar extra. And we can the only you... thing I really like about this is that it had the eight foot box. When Richard sold me that truck, it did not have an eight foot box. Yeah, no, this has the box. Everything as it comes, as you see, is and we actually actually are giving it a warranty, a three year warranty, top to bottom, because we thought it was such how a. How many solid miles truck. are on the? How many are on the rounds? Uh, hundred thousand miles, I think, is what last time I saw. Around yeah, this there. This thing got a twelve valve in it. I believe so. I think it's a V12. I'm not 100% positive. V12? Not V12. It's a 350 turbo diesel. 
Cummins. Ay, ay, ay. The only thing I worry about... Oh, it's a 350, so it must... It... Mm. How... You said 10 grand? Uh, uh, 10... What do you think you'd be willing to give me for my RAM? You got your RAM? Because that's... I don't have it with me right now. I brought the Trans Am. I got it. I actually ended up getting a new truck. Well, used. Eight but grand. I got another. For what, eight if grand. I, if you, if how many miles are on it still? Uh, I think I'm pushing almost one ninety right now. Yeah, and by the way, this one is way better on diesel than yours was. Yeah, so, that one it's it's awful. I mean, it's it's getting to be so bad right now. Exactly. So we can do. I I can trade it. We can do a grand. So you owe two fifty, uh, and we'll get you a tailgate put on the back of this truck. Uh, so hang on a minute. What did we say we were agreeing for on the international? The international one, one thir uh, thirty five. So thirty five plus two two fifty seven uh thirty seven fifty. Thirty-seven five hundred. Ah, uh, that's a toughie because I really like my Ram. But I'm losing two doors now. You might be losing two doors, but you gotta remember, you don't have no more kids at home. Oh, you don't... let me. Can I take it at least down the highway? Oh yeah, go for it. Oh, it's got the white interior. I told you, it's I a saved stick it. shift. Yeah, I saved it just for you now. Ah, <sighs> all right, I'll be right back. We'll let him go with that. I know that right there's probably one of the good trucks like he's been wanting right there. Say all right, bud. You got a deal. I'll uh, I'll bring down the Ram. I actually got it. I'm gonna clean it up before I bring it down here because uh, I know you guys do that here. But I'll give it one nice overshine. I got some nice tire shine and some pretty good wax. So I'll get it cleaned up. Bring that down. Do you actually just want to ride with me in the TA to lunch? Yeah, I think that might be best. Uh, Uncle okay. Grant is probably waiting on us. Yeah. I so say let's uh, let's just go on that. Ring ring. Whoa. Hey, uh, did you actually want to grab lunch quick before we headed down, before you got back to construction? It's already 10.50. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be down there. Uh, where are you meeting at? Eddie's? Crazy Eddie's? Uh, I believe so, yeah. That or we could go... No, oh, we could go to Applebee's. Applebee's will do. We'll right, be down we'll there. see you at Applebee's. We're just coming across the bridge right now. Yeah. From Missouri. Oh. Last one there buys food. Oh, you bet. I'm taking the TA. You got to beat me there. Hey, knowing Uncle Grant as well as I know him, he's probably going to take one of the handicaps. Uh, just oh, Randy, hold there, sir. How, how you doing, bud? Well, how's it going, fellers? Not too bad. Uh, I actually really like your Dodge. Yeah, thanks, man. How many miles man. are on that thing, man? <laughs> how many do you think is on it? Too many? Um, Well, by the swirls on the paint, I'm going to say 185. That's a pretty good guess. That's pretty good. He's about 192, but Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah. I don't I'll actually think I got your name, bud. What's your name? I'm Jake. Nice to meet you, by the way. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, this is actually my nephew, Nate, and conveniently pulling Ooh, into the right know? of me, that's my brother, Grant, so... Yes, yep. Oh, you saw that, right? He was going to pull in, didn't... Hey, yeah, you might I not think want I to... Would, uh, oh. We'd go sledding out in the field. I ain't saying anything. Yeah, you just take Uncle the empty Buck. milk jugs full of gasoline. Uncle Buck, you might need to go look at your quarter pan on your car. Someone may have tapped it. Did you hit my car already? Oh, I can't hear. There's a train. Can't hear you. I heard somebody sound like a dying cat or something, but it might have been my bumper against the back of your bumper. The screeching. I don't know what it was. You're paying for that. Lord have mercy. Who gave Come him on. a license? Well, I mean, to be fair, you did call the parking spot. Yeah, I I know. Well, what are we standing around here for, everybody? We got to go to Applebee's. And I think I'm buying. Especially on his pay. Yeah, hey, yeah, two you for are, 20, buying. anyone? Two for 20. Uh, <laughs> he's stuck. Oh, he's Bye. inside. He's inside the building. I uh, how did you? <laughs> I got stuck, but <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> Somebody get a rope or something. Come on, don't just stand there and watch. Oh no, we thoroughly are enjoying it. This. It's like watching a mouse in a trap. Come on. I'm not a ninja. I can't climb walls. Oh. He you almost had it. Can. He had it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, this is so difficult. Eh. Almost. Oh, American Ninja Warrior. There it is. Yeah, I got it. Anyways, Too bad we I can't push Uncle Grant in there. Hang on. Hang on. Just jump on top of me. Oh, you can't do that. You're welcome. Now I'm stuck in here. Houdini! Houdini? Boys, I gotta run. He landed back inside again. I gotta run. Those mashed potatoes got to me, man. I gotta get home. Lord, I gotta get home. Right. 
And you have a good one. Get back to construction. We'll see you later, Grant. Okay. We'll see you guys. See ya. See ya. Hey, if I'm Actually not mistaken, y'all fellas got a dealership, right? I have I... a dealership, and he does too, Ashley. Yeah, oh, I yeah? see. I work at the Holland and Sons right here on the, uh, in the McGregor side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, uh, either of you got any hay equipment? No. Not <laughs> currently. <laughs> not We're yet. getting in the market, but I actually do custom bailing. Oh, okay. Because I got a hay farm. Well, what, okay. you, what you in the market for? Something small, big, what? Cheap. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm the person you need to go to, not him. Okay. So I do case say Hey, all my stuff's going to be brand new. Oh, I can't afford that. Yeah, no, 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 no. I can also get you out of that uh, Dodge over there. We can get you into something better. We can get you into a Ford. Oh, I love the Dodge. Don't you worry about that Dodge. I mean, we can get you into something more reliable, Ford, instead of that Dodge. Um, oh, you did this boy. I take it back. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Buck, I'm buying from you. Okay. I'm you're kidding, you're I'm just kidding. running in place. That's, oh, that's that's good. Hey, he's getting his daily cardio in. Is he running in place for you, too? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, there, there he goes. Oh, who do you need? That's why. Oh, there it is. All right, all right. I suppose I'll, I'll buy from you, even though you're a Ford guy. We do got some Dodgers, but yeah, we'll, 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 we'll pick what up. Yeah, what, what you what you needing? I I need hay equipment, <laughs> every all of it. Hay equipment. Yep. Narrow the margin. The baler, the rake, the mower, the mower, the baler, and the rake. The mower, the baler, and the rake. Actually, so need... actually, I oh. know someone. I know someone who's selling some stuff or something like that. I can get you set up. Um, okay. Give me. I want to say once we leave here, I give me about thirty-ish minutes. Make a phone call, buy it from a marathon like that, and give them to the dealership. And another 30 minutes for us to look over it, and we'll have something for you over there, okay? Sounds like a plan. Question. Uh-huh. Is it just me, or is the burger that's been on that grill for the last 20 minutes, should it not be charred? Oh, it's definitely charred. Well, he, also, you just reminded me, that's my burger. I'll be right back. This area right by here. What's the story on the 429? Which one? You talking about the Mustang? Yeah, the Mustang. Oh, it's an older Mustang. A guy bought it for his first car, drove it for about two years, and after he could afford a truck, he ended up uh, just putting it up and never using it again. You're going to sit there and tell me somebody sold, a, bought a Boss 429. A Boss 429. Yeah. And then just got rid of it? Do you know how hard these cars are to come up across? Well, actually, he didn't sell it. It was actually, well, it wasn't really his first car. It was one of the first cars that he could really afford by himself. It was one of the, the guy who owned it passed away. And so his family sold it. That's how we ended up with it. But yes, yeah, a long story. So what's, what's the price on this thing? Uh, since this rare, give me a minute. Let me pull my phone up. Alrighty, we're looking about 40 for. 40? 40. We pay and we paid a hefty price for. We're looking around the 40 mark. Hang on. You want me to put the oh, ramps down real fast? If you do, then the car's not going to be here. I might have to run back down to the bank. Let me put the ramps down real fast. Alrighty, that Uncle. should be good, sir. That looks like Thank you. you. A load. It's a pleasure doing business. Hey, if you're I hope no one was. Uh, I hope no one was in the market for that car because I might tweak with it a little bit, throw the four speed back in it, and gussy it up. Go for it. Have fun with it. Hey, we'll do. Uh, just letting you know, you did steal that from Uncle Grant because I was saving that one for him. I was saving two things. I was saving that. Finders keepers, losers weepers. I I'll <laughs> save. I'll save in that car. Actually, three things. That car, his truck, that uh, red truck over there. And then this thing right here, the 1566. Oh, dear. Well, I don't know. It doesn't have Firestones on it. He, he's got to have his Firestones. Listen, listen. He can put Firestones on it. But tell me if I'm wrong. We all know Grant. He'd make this thing into a drag a drag one and a heartbeat. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know. He's kind of getting up there in the age like me. We don't necessarily do that stuff as much anymore. Yeah. I just like to drive through downtown like an idiot. Hey, you gonna leave that door open on that cab? It'll blow closed in the wind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's start. We're getting down here to the end of the day with working for the dealership. But, ladies and gentlemen, I will say it's very nice to be able to work with y'all. 
And for y'all to come here and see the new dealership that's in town, Uncle Grant should be stopping by pretty soon. I'm going to be purchasing a couple more things here and there. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, I appreciate y'all so very much. Hopefully y'all had a good one watching this today. And there's going to be more like this coming very soon, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the next one. Peace!